Hello everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. My name is Colleen. This is day eight of the Animal Crossing challenge that I am doing. If you are new here, just a quick little rundown is that I am able to time travel. Uh, I'm just trying to finish an island in 30 days. Uh, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm able to do kind of what I'd like, which is kind of um, really exemplified in, in this video here. As you can see, Pippi is looking to leave and I've just kind of started this general rule of just letting them. Um, unless I'm going to specifically be trying to get the pictures, which maybe if I try the hardcore mode after I'm done this one, that would obviously be a little bit different. Uh, but it's fun just finding new villagers. I just enjoy it. There's plenty of them that I haven't even seen before, so it's a lot of fun for me. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be moving Nook's Cranny. Uh, so I guess it's a good time for me to say if you are new here, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you'd like to subscribe to help me get towards my goal of 300 subs, I would really appreciate that as well. Plus, you can keep up with this series. There's still lots of episodes to go, so lots of things that you would be able to watch if you're a little bit bored. <laughs> Isn't June's house just so cute? It's really bad, but I don't think I had gone into it after she moved in. Because I don't remember looking at it. I feel like I would have remembered. Especially since it's just it's so beachy. So now, as you can see, I'm just taking out part of the cliff from behind Nooks. Uh, just matching it up with Abel's. But fairly quickly, I realized I didn't really want it to be one solid square. So I decided an actual land bridge going from in between both of them would be pretty cool. Now, at the end of this, I think I'm going to have to change... I'm going to have to change something. <laughs> because when I open the map, I don't really love the way that it looks. So I'm brainstorming on that one. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it at this point because I will run out of ideas. Pate is so cute. I can't. They were just, they were all hanging out around this area today. It was just, it was really cute, but oh man. <laughs> Also, did you know if you shove a villager long enough, like if you're trying to move them, say you want to like put an item down or something like that, if you shove them for long enough, they'll be like, hey, why are you doing that? <laughs> and then they get really mad at you and it's really sad. It's like, it's really, really upsetting. <laughs> so highly don't recommend unless you just want to see what it actually looks like because, you know, fair enough. I would be curious as well. I have nothing to say. All right, so now I'm just customizing some of these decayed trees that I have left over. Some of them were the regular, some of them were the mossy. I decided I like the mossy ones a little bit more. Sometimes you just have to compromise when you're going to a treasure island and you just have to get things that you'll end up customizing, so you can take more home with you. Glad to see that things got better for him, you know? Good for him. So I'm just laying some path here, as you can see. There's a little bit of a process. I keep putting down the wrong one for some reason. Now, very shortly, we're going to do the little villager hunt. Uh, I really would like a frog. I need a frog for a swamp. It just adds up, it makes sense. Um, I don't really have one in particular uh, just because I don't want to be villager hunting forever. Uh, so if I come across a frog, I'm going to take it. And if not, then maybe I'll try to find one on a treasure island or something because that is always an option. Uh, but I did some fancy little editing uh, for my adventure here. Uh, so I will let you enjoy that right now with a little bit of music and I will meet you back in a minute or so. Thank you. 
So as you can probably tell, I did not find a frog by using my Nook Miles tickets. So now I have to resort to going to a treasure island. Uh, luckily, I did find one that had actually multiple frogs, uh, so I was very, very lucky. I ended up choosing Tad. I've never had Tad on an island, and I did get interrupted when I was trying to bring him home, actually twice. Uh, so he was well worth the wait. He's just adorable. So he will be on the island tomorrow. Coming up in just a second, I have an updated flyover of the island, which I am liking the way that it looks. I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of room in front of nooks, but just for the sake of the photos, I just, I, I think I need to have it there. I'm also very happy I fixed that one portion of the waterscaping, you know, when Weber was sitting above me. I'm so glad that I fixed that. So as I check out Tad's spot here, I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for checking out this video. Really appreciate every single one of you. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.